So this hotel gave me a little gift bag here when I checked in. Look at this. This is cute. Let's just go over what's in this bag here. All right. So they got some water for me. Y'all know I love to stay hydrated, okay? All right. Cheez-Its. Cannot go wrong. And then they have, oh, a little letter. Thanks for being a good friend. Love, Regina. How sweet. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. But yes, guys, what a beautiful hotel. Today's date is November the 11th on a Thursday. The local time right now at DIA, 6.46 a.m. So ladies and gentlemen, we already know why I am here. If I'm at the airport in the bathroom, I have a trip or I'm doing something, correct? I have a trip. So I started a four day reserve block as of the 9th. So the 9th, I sat a couch, was not used, was not used yesterday the 10th. But guys, this trip popped into the open time. So remember, reserves, we bid from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. So this trip pops in, I said, you know what, let's take a stab. Because it was in my open time for like 20 minutes. Remember, it's first come, first serve, right? So I bid for this trip and I'm very shocked that I got it, okay? This is a three-day trip. It's very weird, but let me explain it. I'm going from Denver to airport code SLC, which is Salt Lake City, Utah, okay? And then Salt Lake City to airport code DFW, which is Dallas, Fort Worth, okay? And Dallas, guys, I have a layover of 26 hours and 27 minutes. Yeah, this is a very long layover, but I am here for it. Day two. It's going to be Dallas to airport code, SFO. SFO is San Francisco, California. And then San Francisco back to Denver. So guys, for this three day trip, I will be a background singer, okay? But let me give you the specs. So credit hours, not that it matters because it is a part of my reserve. Only if I go over my 75 is when I care. But it's 11 hours and 14 minutes. Time away from base, 42 hours and 21 minutes. So it's not a bad trip, but this is the shocking point, okay? The reason why it's a three-day trip, guys, because when I come back from San Francisco, come back to Denver, I get in at 12.41 a.m. So it'll be the 13th. So very shocked because it goes into my day off. But according to my contract, if I get in before 2 a.m., I'm good to go, so no idea. I bid for the trip and they gave it to me. So that is what I'm doing guys, heading to Dallas for a very long layover. I wanted to do the JFK trolley tour, but I think I'm gonna get in too late. The last one they have is at 3 p.m. I'm getting into Dallas today about 2.30, so we'll see. Now this wig. Guys, when I had my long layover in Phoenix, this is the wig that I got at that hair store. Um, it is called Joanna. It is from a company called Hair Sense. Never heard of this company, but this is her, Joanna. Now she is tangly, I will admit. This is truly a synthetic wig. Um, yeah, I like it, but it's gonna get tangled, especially in the back. I have to constantly do this. And she sheds, okay? But hey, I paid about $45 for this wig. That's what I like. My wigs are cheap, makeup is cheap, okay? I guess I'm a cheap girl when it comes to hair and makeup. But guys, um, I am working with a senior crew. Some I have flown with before, some I have not. So we'll see how this day goes, but my check-in time for the trip is 6.50 a.m. I've already checked in. I'm just going to uh, head to my gate, talk to you guys. I made breakfast this morning, right? I was able to eat breakfast this morning. It's that Jimmy Dean, you know that little breakfast thing where you put the egg in, put it in the microwave, then you stir in the cheese and the sausage. 
that was breakfast, so I'm trying. I am trying my best. It's gonna take a while, but guys, this is my life. So guys, I will be with you soon when I am heading down the jet bridge to start my first leg of two to Salt Lake City, but let's really get into it real quick. With this whole look, got my scarf, I got the collared shirt, the hair, eyebrows, and the eyeshadow. Okay, we're back. So I will talk to you guys later. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Safety checks, pre-flight requirements. We are on an A321. Again, our largest aircraft. It's a light load. So we'll get the final numbers and I'll be with you when I get to Salt Lake City. Good morning, guys, and happy Veterans Day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am in Salt Lake City. The local time right now is 9.30 a.m. Uh, so the flight time from Denver to Salt Lake City was an hour and 13 minutes. So you know the configurations of an A321. In case you don't, let me refresh your memory. 230 passengers max capacity, 41 rows of seats. Guys, we were a little over halfway full coming to Salt Lake City, so I got one more leg to Dallas. And it looks like I am the floater, so I will be going to Dallas by myself. And this crew is gonna come back to Salt Lake City, so they have a long day. My day is gonna be long tomorrow. So yes, guys, so I stopped and I got a few things. So I love reading magazines, so I got this magazine. I'm always interested in true crime. And then I got this. And I also got this little snack here. So that's what I need for this flight to Dallas. But guys, we're gonna be boarding in a few minutes, so I just wanted to touch bases with you guys. One more leg, and then that's when my fun really begins. What am I gonna do in Dallas? I don't know. But y'all stay tuned, we'll talk later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I am finally in Dallas in my hotel room. Now this is a new hotel for us, so let's do the room tour. And you walk in to the bathroom. So number one, ladies and gentlemen, you see all those beautiful towels that I would not be using. Okay, they got, uh, I guess that's a laundry bag. I'm not sure what that is, but that's down there. Okay, they got a good selfie light, which I love. Okay, there's a hair dryer. Okay, I am loving the ambiance. Uh, look at the background here. Look at the wall in the background. Not bad. All right, and it does have a walk-in shower, which you guys know I love. And let's take a look here. And this is what they have in the shower, ladies and gentlemen. Not soap, radio, shampoo, hand wash, and conditioner. And then they have this, guys. Not soap, radio. Looks like body lotion and hand wash. All right, and guys, here's a full length mirror. So I have on the polo shirt and my slacks. Okay. And here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the iron board, iron hangers, and down here is the refrigerator, okay? And then they have this here, which I think is pretty dope. I guess you can hang stuff here. Love the color scheme. And this is the sleeping area. So you guys can see I have a double bed. They gave it to me, didn't ask for it. Okay, there's a cute little bench to sit down at, I believe. Put stuff under. Here's the TV, it is 55 inches, okay? All right, lamps. And then here they have a workstation desk area with a cute little lamp. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and this will conclude this new hotel room tour. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the flight time from Salt Lake City was an hour and 57 minutes. Now guys, we were a fuller flight than the flight going to Salt Lake City. We were about three fourths full. We had about 50 odd seats open. So all in all, two legs, they were pretty decent. Uh, the crew, so some of these crew members, I have flown with before, but I haven't seen them in a while. So they always ask, oh, do you have a line? How are you doing? Blase, blase, you know, just a little small chit chat. So nothing too major um, but I did find out my crew is going to come in tonight around 11 30 12 a.m. okay so I love being a floater I was able to come at my leisure to this hotel 
take time if I want to stop and get some Starbucks, whatever. I did it today, but that's what I love is that I'm not on a time schedule. So I can't believe I got 26 hours in this hotel. We were supposed to arrive around 2.12, got here a little early, but it's all good. Like, I am just so happy, guys. Y'all don't understand. I love that I get paid to lay over in a city. 26 hours. Baby, that is beautiful, okay? Let me just say that. So this hotel, guys, the surrounding areas has like restaurants and bars and places to go shopping, but it's about five to 10 miles away, which is fine. I could take a lift if I want to go somewhere, but I did meal prep. I did bring my spaghetti, the remaining leftovers of my spaghetti. Guys, I am trying. I am trying so hard not to spend extra money. Now, of course, by the time my crew gets in, I'm not going out with them, 11, 30, 12. Uh, I think I will probably be asleep. I still can't believe they approved this trip. I took a gamble and it paid off. So it goes to show you guys, no matter what, always shoot your shot. A layover is about recovery because tomorrow's gonna be a very long day. Let me say that. Those two legs are gonna really take me out. But guys, I'm not doing anything in particular. Of course, I have friends, okay? Because we all need friends, okay? What is that song, guys? Friends, how many of us have them? Friends, ones we can't depend on. Uh, hello? And I'm not talking about the show Friends, uh, okay? I got friends in different area codes, baby. Let me just add, okay? <laughs> yeah. So that is what I will be doing. Minding my business, not doing anything right now, but if I do anything, I will come back to you guys. Y'all know how I get down, but yes, honey, I got 26 hours in Dallas. What's good, boo? What's good? And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today's date is November the 12th on a Friday, and the local time right now in Dallas is 12.06 p.m. So guys, I am getting ready to head to another museum. The last time I had a long layover in Dallas, you guys know I went to the Sixth Floor Museum and I was able to kind of explore what happened to uh, President JFK. Y'all know I am very obsessed with the Kennedys. Well guys, today I'm going to another one. Not a JFK, but something that is just as important. And this is the Dallas Holocaust and Human Rights Museum. That is in uh, Dallas, of course. So that is what I'm getting ready to do. I did request a lift. I'm going by myself. Guys, what I aim to do is these long layovers, I don't just wanna waste the day in my room. I wanna get out and do something, okay? You have to reserve a time slot. So I reserved the one o'clock time slot. That gives me time to go there for a couple hours and come right back and get ready. I've already packed everything, uh, took a shower, the only thing I have to do is change this wig because again, this is like my in-between wig, put on some eyebrows, and I think I'll be ready to go. That's really about it. Today is gonna to be a very long day for me because uh, Dallas going to San Francisco is blocked at four hours and five minutes. So yes, I will be a little tired, but I think this is so worth it. Um, so guys, I'm gonna head out. So guys, I will be with you later, waiting for my lift, but yes, you'll see me.
ladies and gentlemen, so I'm in the elevator, all set. I'm going to the second floor and they have a, I guess a uh, time slot selection every hour on the hour where you can ask actual Holy Cross survivors. So that's what I'm about to do. It starts at once, so I'll be with you later. So these are, uh, this is the guy that did the uh, holographic interview. His name is uh, Max. It's like a holographic uh, questions and they answer it's like voice recognition pretty awesome I got there a little late but now I'm gonna go downstairs and look at the rest
Ladies and gentlemen, so I am uh, finally out of the museum. Um, it is about 3 p.m. My van time is 4.44 p.m. Um, so I requested a lift. They should be here in about three minutes. I have to pay a higher price because I did priority, okay? But I was in the museum for about two hours. I got a lot of good uh, footage, a lot of history. It was just so much. Um, I couldn't... Uh, record or take pictures of everything but by far it's something I recommend the Dallas Holocaust and Human Rights Museum I even got a t-shirt in here you see this little cute little bag but yes I really did enjoy myself um, yeah I recommend for anyone to do this but right now I'm away from my lift it's a little windy out here uh, and I'm right around the corner from the sixth floor on Dealey Plaza. It's right around the corner, so not too far off. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you the next time when it's time for me to head downstairs to start my two legs. And I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. The local time right now is 4.32 p.m. So I have a few minutes before I head downstairs, but I made it back in time. I'm not really feeling my makeup, especially these eyebrows, but I got back kind of late. Thank goodness I showered and all that before I left and packed up everything. Um, but yeah, two legs, guys. So it's Dallas to San Francisco. Now this flight is blocked at four hours and five minutes. Then San Francisco back to Denver. And that flight is blocked at two hours and 42 minutes. So it's gonna be a little bit of a longer day for me. Now, for me to tell you I'm not tired will be a lie. I have been up since maybe eight o'clock this morning, so I was not able to go back to sleep, and so here we are. Now again, I get in to Denver after midnight, which makes it the 13th, which will make my trip to a three day. So with our contract, if I am back before 2 a.m., I am legal, I think. So ladies and gentlemen, you'll see me again when I'm heading down the jet bridge. All right, heading down, guys. It's already chaotic, a little bit delayed. Uh, I will see you definitely in San Francisco uh, on the A320 Space Flight. So we'll see. Hi, guys. We'll see the final numbers, guys, when I get there. Hi. Hello. All right, guys. Y'all stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in San Francisco. Something smells so bad down this jet bridge oh my gosh oh the flight time from oh Dallas to San Francisco it was three hours and 16 minutes on an A320 space flex okay 186 passengers oh max capacity oh Jesus 31 rows of seats there's a bag of poop oh my gosh guys oh oh y'all see that Oh, it's bad. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I can still smell. I taste it. Okay, guys. It's not a full load. I'm going back to Denver. That smells bad. Who did that? Who did that? It's a bag of poop. Oh, I can't even breathe. Okay, guys. I'll be with you when I get to Denver. All right, ladies and gentlemen, of course, I'm back at the crash pad right now. It is uh, 3 14 a.m. Okay, Saturday, November 13th. Flight time from San Francisco to Denver was two hours and nine minutes. So, guys, leaving Dallas, going to San Francisco, we were three fourths full, but coming to Denver, guys, we were not even halfway full so that should tell you something the lows were a little bit light um but yes ladies and gentlemen i finally figured out what happened okay 
there was a service animal that was on my flight from Dallas to San Francisco, okay? Uh, he couldn't wait. That is the worst smell, I'm telling y'all right now, the worst smell, like, I'm telling you, I was lightheaded. I, ugh, mm, I could still smell it, okay? That was strong. Let me say that. That scent was something out of this world. But they had to get a cleaning crew to clean it because that whole jet bridge was lit. Then I found out the poor dog, so the owner, she didn't say anything to us, okay? She did it and walked away. Y'all saw the little trash bag? Oh my gosh. I'm telling y'all, okay? She went upstairs to another restaurant and the dog did it again. So, terrible things. I think baby feces is up there, but that, oof. Well, anyways, guys, um, this is my day off, and I'm off tomorrow, the 14th. Uh, I can't pick up anything because, again, I'm coming in on my day off. So I'm gonna be here for the next two days, and then I go back on reserve, and my best friend's birthday is on the 15th, so uh, I gotta figure out what to do for her birthday, but all in all, 26 hours in Dallas, um, the Dallas Holocaust and Human Rights Museum was everything. Guys, I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired. I'm taking off my makeup as we speak. Y'all see I'm breaking out because of this mask. And if you guys hear any noise in the background, it is this right here. Yeah, that's the noise. So guys, I will be with you on my next journey, my adventure. I'm not sure when, but you guys will know. So thank you for walking with me. Coming with me to Dallas, guys. I desperately need to get some sleep because I am taking somebody to the airport in a few hours. So on that note, have a good night.